Okay, weekend is here and really interesting forecast coming up. I think we're going to probably continue this heat wave. We'll talk more about that. This is Open Streets in Lompoc. This is live right now. And check out what they've done. They basically said no cars on the streets. Everybody's out there. And uh, just look how the community came out for this event. This is incredible. Our photojournalist Jason Orr on the scene live in Lompoc. If you live in the area, go check that out. Kind of a cool thing that they're doing in Lompoc. And it's an awesome day. I mean, the temperatures are really, really great in that area because Vandenberg is 59. There's marine influence, but just up the road in Lompoc, temperatures are in the 60s. Santa Maria as well. San Luis 71, 104. Paso Robles, it's 75 in Santa Barbara. The solving number is probably not right at 58. But we do have quite a bit of onshore flow here and marine influence. So weather watchers today, really fascinating. Santa Barbara, 87, 91, Santa Inez, Cuyama, 101, 78, Goleta, just 60 in Morro Bay. Paso Robles, 106, but just 64 at Pismo Beach. Microclimates huge today. Beaches just cold because the marine layer really didn't want to mix out. There wasn't a lot of wind. This is about the maximum we're seeing right now at about 15. There will be more wind over the weekend to help clear out the marine layer. 81, San Luis, Santa Maria, 76 today, 67 in Lompoc. So the weekend forecast, temperatures 70s at the beach this weekend, Lompoc in the 70s, Santa Barbara in the 90s, but a big warm up starts as early as Monday. More on that coming up. San Luis goes from the upper 80s into the 90s as we get into Monday. Santa Maria temperatures warming into the low 80s and Paso Robles. If we get the break on uh, 100 degree heat on Sunday, it'll be interesting. More on that too. Las Vegas temperatures near 110. Los Angeles about 80 and San Francisco about 70 for the upcoming weekend. OK, here's my extended forecast. You can see we start another 100 plus degree run, but we're going to be closer to the extremes with temperatures up near 110 in Paso Robles. So today again, another 100 degree day. That's 12 in a row. I get this question all the time. What's the record? The record's 13 and my forecast for tomorrow would have us tying the record. And keep in mind on Sunday, my forecast is 99. If we go to 100 and then look at our forecast, our streak could approach 20 days. Incredibly hot. Why is this happening? Big ridge of high pressure here and watch it building as we get into early next week. It's going to dominate the west. It's going to dry out conditions. The south coast is going to be hot. The winds are going to pick up. So already we're looking at an excessive heat watch here for Santa Barbara County. Nearby the air quality warning for the Central Valley. We still have some smoke and just the general problems we have with air quality in the San Joaquin and a fire weather warning across the west. Plus this heat wave that's developing and redeveloping for the West next week is going to be very, very interesting. It's going to stress essentially a third of the country. So 80 Santa Maria tomorrow, 88 San Luis and 90 in Santa Barbara, 103 in Paso Robles. Overnight lows right now are in the mid 50s for much of the area. At least the air is fairly dry with all that heat that could change a little next week too. I think the humidity has come up a hair. 82 in AG in Napomo, 98 California Valley, 101 Shandon, 61 Morro Bay, 77 Aula, 102 Atascadero, and San Miguel. And here's that extended forecast. Warm in Santa Maria, hot in Santa Barbara Monday and Tuesday. Fire weather concerns are in play. Could we see 110 on Tuesday or Wednesday next week? We could. Thursday also a hot day. And San Luis Obispo temperatures rise from the mid 80s to the low 90s. Back to you.